So this is what we are going to try to do, uh, the eyes or the pupils of the eyes following the cursor. Uh, we are going to use HTML, CSS and plain JavaScript. So we are going to create our files. That's the HTML file. I will also create the CSS file and the JavaScript file. So maybe let me put the HTML boilerplate, which is that, and open up the live server. So it's open up here. Let's start. I'll need first the, the container to group them. That's a container here. Then in that container, I'll need I'll need the eyes. So let me create a div with the uh, class name of eyes and then I also need the people the inside people will see and that's it so that's it with the JavaScript let's go to the CSS we we'll have to first link the CSS file to this file and that's it maybe change the background color to something different add the color ready Change it to that color. Mm. Give it a display of flex and center its contents. So that's it for the background. So let's work on our containers. Here we have the container class. And then the I class, the I class. First of all, we shall give it a width of, let me say, 200 pixels and height 100 pixels. Let's give it a background color of white. And there you see it, and Maybe we didn't need to give this to this. Let's give it to the container. Uh, display of flex. Then just file contents. Center. Line items. Center. And the body maybe. Let's give it a margin of zero and padding of zero. So we give our container the full width it and then full height of the viewport. So that we send our eye. Uh, give our eye border radius of 50% to create that oval like shape and I think that's it for our eye. Uh, let's work on its pupil. The inside black thing on my eye, it's a black one. So let's do the pupil and give it a width for 50 pixels. Or maybe 30. And height 30 pixels. Give it a background color black. And maybe about the radius of fifty percent. Okay, so let's put it in the middle with position absolute, and maybe we need to give the ice class a position relative. After that, we give it top of fifty percent left. 50% then let's put it in the middle with transform transit to minus 50 minus 50 on the y axis and that's it so maybe give it a border radius I border of, let me say 8 pixels with solids so I would say brown I guess so 
so brown mm, maybe not that brown i'll go with that so that's one of our eyes so to make them two we shall just deprecate this and make the left eye the right eye left and right maybe give them a gap here in the container a gap of like 25 pixels that will be enough so i think that's it with the design of our eyes so let's work on the behavior that's the javascript first we need to add the javascript file in the html and let's script and then script the js so for that because it's our people that will be moving our eyes are generally doing nothing so let's grab those equal to get them by the class name which is people still and after that because we want it to change position every time we are hovering our mouse so to we shall have a mouse event on the full website which is the document uh do it on mouse down i'll mouse move and define what happens so first i'll say let's try out if it's working cancel.log x so if i'm open the inspector here and you see the console so every time I'm moving around, you see the X is being logged to the console. Now instead of that, we want every time we're moving around, the position of these changes. So let's define our X axis, X value, and that would be the event. We need to call out the event here. That client X. And that will be time is 100 divided by the windows in a width, then plus the percentage sign to make it it's turn it into a percentage, just like you see, here we have top 50 percent and 50 percent. So that's it for the x axis, and maybe to move around for. Let's and is equal to zero y less than two and it's increment i then I would like to get the uh, the position this left position of of the pupil and set it to the position of the cursor. Let me say pupil and uh, to style. Let's tell that left is equal to x. So that's it. That should work for the x-axis. You see now it moves along the x-axis. It kind of moves outside of our eye. Let's solve that with uh, an overflow hidden. Okay. Oh, so that's it for the horizontal axis let's work on the vertical axis which will be the same and uh, instead of inner width it will be inner height and that's it so maybe duplicate this turn this to a y and instead of left now we'll go for the top and that's it so it's able to move maybe one last thing the transformation is still in transit negative 50 50 we want that to change to the value of x and y at every point so we shall see the pupil maybe at all time uh, we want it to be the style uh, the transform Is equal to transform maybe 
translate I'm using the template you chose because I'll be fixing in some some variables here x then minus temperature choose y ah, so that will, will do it so and you're able to do what we saw in the beginning so uh, that's it so thank you for watching and i'll leave the source code in the link in the description so see you next time